Thanks for coming back. You pay them. You pay each and every one of them. I pay each and every one. Exactly. The, the, the sixth and final season, uh, sadly, of House of Cards uh, is uh, starting um, on November 2nd. Yes. And um, you are now the president of the United States. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> Again, you can't, you can't tell me much, I'm sure. But just what, what is her meeting with Kanye like? That's all. <laughs> We're going to get some issues. I was going to say, and then I caught myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. I was like, yeah, I'm the first female president of the United States, but I know nothing about politics. Playing Claire. And then oh. I was like, oh, that's kind of close to home. Sure. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> it's no longer a requirement for the job. That's really not yeah. shocking anymore, no, is it? it's all um, on the job training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you really, you know nothing about politics, and yet you've been on one of the most I iconic political shows for for. What, 10 years or something like that? It, almost 10 years. Yeah. Six years. You know, what. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That is, that is the gentlest brushback I've ever gotten from a guest. So it's rounding, we're rounding up. <laughs> rounding. We're rounding up. Round up high. You know nothing about politics. I know nothing about math. <laughs> Six, ten, what does it matter? What does it matter? So, um, you know, as we all know, you know quite dramatically, uh, Kevin Spacey, you know, uh, was removed from the show for the, for the last season. Um, what is it like now that you, you're already a star of the show, but the tone of a production always starts sort of from the star down? You are now the face and the star of the show. How has that changed the, the tone of, of production and what it's like to, to shoot every day? Um, truthfully... The arc was always going to be the same. She, when she ended season five and looked into the camera and said, it's my turn, it was always going to be the exploration of that. It was going to be the first woman, the adversity she would be up against, and that's exactly what we did. She is going to have to, how do I say it, um, make friends so she can create enemies oh, to I get like through like this that. administration. Yeah, yeah. And it's all men. She's up against all men. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You do know something about politics. I, I know the darkest side of it, yeah. You were personally responsible, I understand, for continuing the series because a lot of people originally said, oh, well, it's over now. Like, the, the series has ended. But you personally made sure that didn't happen. Why, how did that come about? And, and why was that so important to you? Well, it was a collective decision between MRC, which is the company that owns House of Cards, and our distributor, Netflix. And all of us on board, all the producers just said... Yes, we need to be sensitive to the climate because it was very heightened at the time and nobody really knew what to do. And this is our final season and I think we all mulled it over and said, why are we going to let down the fans? Let's finish it off the way we always intended, contractually and first and foremost, we would have put 2,500 people out of employment. Wow. And I said, let's just... Let's go out with a bang. Let's give them, give them an end. Close out the show. Well, it seems like a, actually a, a very fitting thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because e even in light of sort of the tone or in the cultural moment that resulted in, in, in Kevin leaving the show, it seems like the perfect thing to do is to put a woman in power in that position, in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and some things about the show do not change, and, and this next clip uh, it illustrates one of them. What's happening in this clip, do you know? You're speaking to some soldiers. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you for the lead-in. You got Thank it. You, so you much. got it. Six is not ten. Okay, and <laughs> let's go. Nancy has been an inspiration to me, a tireless warrior. I promise her and all of you that I will work on behalf of the rights and freedoms earned over the last 241 years of our democracy. As I look into the eyes of you brave soldiers standing before me today, here's the thing. I'm feeling so proud right now. Proud to be your commander in chief. Whatever Francis told you the last five years, don't believe a word of it. Our country is 241 years old, my friends. Let's wish this great nation a happy birthday. Say it with me. 
Happy birthday, America! Happy birthday, America! It's going to be different for you and me. One more time. I'm going to tell you the truth. Happy birthday, America! Exciting. Exciting. You know, we, we wanted you on the show. We wanted me on the show? Mm -hmm. Did I say no? I, I, heard, I, I, I take it back if I said no, I'd I say yes. I heard a rumor that you wouldn't audition and all that's like, you have to offer it to No, me. I won't audition. I won't audition. <laughs> you would have been so great. As, oh. I, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if you were the press secretary for Claire? How great would oh. that be? With his humor and... you got to do another season. you got to do another se season. <laughs> CBS will let me out, right? Sure. 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 Well, uh, oh, it breaks my heart. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I'd like to play a game with you right now, if you don't mind, is that we, you're, not, you're not a president, but you are. You're a celebrity and therefore an authority figure. And um, <laughs> I'd like to play a game and get your thoughts on just a few items very quickly, a little lightning round, that we're calling right or wrong. Okay? okay. Just give me your thoughts instantly about the following things. Right or wrong, pumpkin spice lattes. Wrong. Why? <laughs> Why? They're delicious. I, I, ex I accept your judgment. I'm just curious why. They're delicious. The title's too long. It's like, get, get coffee. Give me a coffee. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Adults wearing Halloween costumes. Right. Right? Okay. Cats the musical. <gasps> right. Wow, that was a strong reaction. It's so great, that musical. Really? I'll take your word for it. The cat. The I've, cats, never, I've never seen it. The cats has been on Broadway for 800 years. Yeah, the cats, the, the singing cats. It's so great. What's the story? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> cats the animal. I'm wrong. Wrong. Oh, how the worm turns. Okay. Twitter, you're, you're, you're on it, but you rarely tweet. Right or wrong, Twitter? So wrong. Okay. Don't tell Lynn Manuel Miranda. Okay. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Right, okay. Okay. Using a Starbucks bathroom without buying anything. Oh, wrong. It's an American right, in my opinion. <laughs> Sorry we had to end on such a fractious <laughs> note. Thank you so much for Thank being you here. So much. The final season of House of Cards premieres November 2nd on Netflix. Robin Wright, everybody. We'll be right back.